I'm David Newman, uh, CEO of Gaia North America. We're here to talk today about what a consumer can do to find and choose a good olive oil in the grocery shelves. Number one question we get every single day. What's really important about finding an olive oil, and it's not just Gaia, but I'm using our oil as an example. You want to find specifically a bottle that's dark in color that will protect the oil. You want to also look for a single country of origin. That is a much better bet for you than trying to find an oil that may have a med blend. You're also going to be looking for a harvest date, uh, a bottled number is preferred, any information about the nutritional benefits or the acidity levels of the oil, as well as any kind of flavor profiles, best before dates, and certifications that give you a good understanding of the oil has been verified by respectable sources. Things that you might find in a grocery store that are more troublesome could be an oil that sounds like it's from Italy, looks like it's from Italy, has things on here like 100% natural, which are really not proven. And then on the back, in very, very small font, it would say product of Italy, Greece, and Spain. That means it's a med blend. You don't know where it came from. You don't know the olive cultivars that were included in this oil. So this would be a product that I would say is very confusing to a consumer. Further, you might find an oil like this one that says summer fresh extra virgin olive oil, limited edition 2016 production product of Spain. Well, in 2016, the production would have been after January, which is when the oil, olives are most ripe and of the lowest quality. And then, if you read on the back, you'll find that it's an Arbequina variety, which is great that they name it, except they say that it was uh, produced during the spring and it's best consumed during the summer. The problem is, in Spain, olive oil is produced in the autumn or winter, not in the spring. So that is obviously extremely misleading. Furthermore, you're looking for bottles that are not clear glass, because as you can see what the light has done to this oil, which is still in code, it's completely yellow, and I have never seen a yellow olive. This oil is also 100% um, Spanish, which is great that it's single country. The problem is when you taste it, it's completely full of defects. Extra virgin olive oil, by law, cannot have any defects. And finally, you want to find an oil that is um, honest and truthful about their product. If you look at this product, it says imported, premium blend extra virgin olive oil, but if you really look closely, you will see sunflower oil in very dark print. So this could be 99% sunflower oil and 1% extra virgin olive oil, and you're none the wiser. So please be careful when you're choosing olive oil, and if you're not happy with the oil you buy, take it back to the store, ask for a refund, and try again.